Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, February 24th, 2012. We begin with an update from the world of robotics. DARPA recently tested the Legged Squad Support System, or LS3, outdoors. A major military concern is the over 100 pounds of equipment soldiers must carry, resulting in great physical strain, hence the need for something like the LS-3, designed to autonomously follow a group of personnel while carrying up to 400 pounds. Some of its features include cameras with software that allow it to distinguish between various terrain and obstacles. Soldiers will also be able to use it as an auxiliary power supply and recharge batteries. The goal is that it could carry its maximum capacity for 24 hours over a 20-mile trek without refueling. There's also plans to enhance the visual software, allowing it to track specific people and objects. All of this testing will end with the LS-3 embedding with a squad of Marines doing field training. Our next story comes from the world of technology. A computer program created in Sweden has scored up to 150 in an IQ test. A standard IQ test has two main components, identifying visual patterns and patterns in number sequences. Programs specializing in each type of question were developed, but the number sequence one was the most impressive. This advancement was possible by incorporating psychology studies into the mathematical pattern recognition. For example, given the series 1, 2 and asked what's next, most people would answer 3 even though, mathematically, there are many just as valid options. Which is why adding a kind of psychological component makes the program more intelligent in a human sense. Working off the program that scored 150, Possible applications include understanding financial patterns and furthering the difficulty and variety of intelligence tests. And finally, from the world of physics, a collaboration led mainly by Japanese researchers has found that dark matter is distributed around galaxies far beyond each galaxy's peripheral stars. Dark matter, in fact, fades well into other neighboring galaxies. The result was found using weak gravitational lensing, and the simulation employed images from 24 million galaxies collected from the Colossal Sloan Digital Sky Survey. In a previous Brainstorm episode, we explained strong gravitational lensing, which gave rise to Einstein rings. Weak gravitational lensing is another less obvious consequence of general relativity. Also in this case, light is distorted around massive objects. When observing a galaxy that acts as a lens, the light distortion from other distant objects bulges the distant galaxies, causing them to appear brighter and larger. In the computation, physicists used the known visible matter's current distribution, so they made a simulation of the universe's evolution, predicting where the missing mass should have been located. The distribution of dark matter is consistent with the structure and evolution of the universe. However, baryonic matter appears to be confined into galaxies. Dark matter instead permeates all the universe with lower densities further away from baryonic matter. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.